hello my people welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to make moi moi or bean cake i know it's been a minute see yeah. your girl have just been here and there the kids homeschooling it's not been easy but i'm grateful i'm grateful for strength how are you all doing i hope everyone is doing well today i'm going to show you how to make moi moi for a group of people a few people maybe for 10 to 12 people so i hope you sit back and relax while we go through this together if this is your first time here thank you so much for stopping by my name is ungozi and welcome to the family so please click the subscribe button in the notification bell and now let's get right into it for the list of ingredients i have salt seasoning cubes onions red onion precisely if you want your momoi to be delicious use lots of onion momoi loves onion in here i have nutmeg which i just grated over here i have crayfish which i'm going to wash and blend later on in this bottle i have corn oil feel free to use any oil of your choice as long as it is odorless over here i have eggs that i have boiled and peeled in here i have scotch bonnet pepper jalapeno pepper just because i love the aroma it adds to moi moi i'm going to take out the seed but if you like it hot you can leave the seed in it if you're in nigeria you can use shamba as well that will work over here i have red bell peppers i was supposed to use two um three medium sized red bell peppers for this recipe but this one was so big so that served as two in one for me if i was using this size i would use three of this size i hope that makes sense i'm also going to be using banana leaves and i totally love the aroma it adds to moi moi in here i have smoked mackerel fish i have a video on how to make this at home I'm going to link it in the description box and of course the beans so to begin i'm going to wash the banana leaves it came frozen so i'm going to loosen it up and then cut them into my desired sizes you don't want to cut them too small as well so it's easier to wrap that way so after cutting everything i'm going to go ahead and wilt them on my stove top the pack says it came wilted but the dalton thomas in me says mm -mm, one day you have to be sure so that was why i wilted again and when you wilt it you'll notice it becomes like rubber that way it doesn't tear apart easily when you're wrapping the moi moi so after wilting everything i'll place them in a soapy water and then with the aid of a soft brush i'm going to go in and brush the leaves gently just like this that way there is no dirt or dust or anything and then rinse it out and it's good to be used so now that everything is properly clean you can go in with a paper towel to dry it out at this point or just leave it on your kitchen counter if you're going to be using it immediately like i did so next i'm going to peel the beans to the beans i'm going to add water let it sit for about a minute or two then pop it in the blender add enough water to cover the beans and then with the pulse button i'm going to go in one two three four times until the beans have broken up once the beans have broken up i'll pour that in a bowl and then go in with my hands to loosen out the skin from the beans if there's anyone still attached then i'm going to continue to sieve the beans add water sieve add water sieve until the beans becomes clean next i'll add water and let the beans sit for about an hour or two before blending at this point i'm going to prep every other ingredient i need for the moi moi i'll begin with the mackerel fish i'm going to debone the mackerel fish and when i do this i like to remove the skin and blend it together with the beans yeah i'm going to do that and then break up the fish into sizable portions next i'm going to take out the seed from the bell peppers the jalapeno peppers remember i showed you three onion in the beginning i'm going to chop up one onion and not forgetting the crayfish i'll wash the crayfish and add it to, add it to this as well because i'm going to blend all this together So 
So once that is smooth, I'll add some oil to a pan, add the blended peppers and fry until it is smooth. There are three reasons why I do this. Number one being that this was how I was taught. Number two, I noticed that my moi moi lasts longer when I use this method. And number three is that it, it adds a bit of texture to it. It's not all smooth. There's a, te there's a kind of texture it adds to it. Next, I'm going to add nutmeg. See, eh? nutmeg is the reason why the moi moi you cook at home does not taste like the one you ate at Choma and Davido's engagement party. Add nutmeg to your moi moi and see the difference. Next, I'll add se two seasoning cubes, the deboned fish, taste to see if you need salt or anything. I needed more salt, so I sprinkled a bit of salt in it. Cover it now and let it simmer on low heat until it is dry. After about 20 minutes, mine was fine, so I'm going to take it off the heat now, set it aside and let it cool down while I blend the beans. The beans have been sitting for about an hour now, so I'm going to add one onion. I blended in two batches, so each time I blended, I added one onion and one seasoning cube. And then I ran the blender for like two minutes to incorporate air into the batter. So once everything is done, stir to make sure there is no starch resting underneath it because beans contain starch you know those days to tell us that beans was protein it all <laughs> so i'm going to stir and then pour in the fried peppers mix 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 Always taste before you add any more salt. Remember you added seasoning cube when blending the beans and salt and seasoning cube while frying the pepper sauce. Just taste a little. I know it's raw. It won't kill you. <laughs> add water until you get the consistency you're aiming for and then it is time to wrap. Hey, this thing gave me headache until I figured it out. You know, way back in Nigeria, when you're wrapping with the normal moi moi leaf, it's way easier. But with this one, because they are in squares, I had to find my way around it. And yes, I got it. So I'm going to fold it to the right and then cross it over to the left bend that spot and you can see we have formed a cone yes put the momoi in it be careful not to overfill it so you can tuck it in easily tuck that spot in just like that fold the two sides and then bend it over yep we did it <laughs> so i'm going to show you one more time fold to the right and then to the left making sure you cross it over and then bend it and hold it tight you have a cone add the moi moi add half egg tuck it in and bend voila <laughs> so at a point i ran out of banana leaves so i took the pieces here and there placed it in a muffin pan and baked the remaining moi moi until it was cooked i added water to the in a pan into the oven as well so it doesn't dry out so next to cook the moi moi, I'm going to add water to the pot and then you're supposed to use a steamer to cook your moi moi. Moi moi does not really need water to cook, it needs steam. So since I didn't have a big enough steamer, I'm going to add some banana leaves to the pot. And if you notice, I added little amount of water so that when you place the moi moi wraps in it, the water does not get into the moi moi wraps when it is cooking. So I placed that in it carefully, covered it with some more banana leaves and then let it cook on medium to high heat i was checking every now and then to make sure the water didn't dry out and burn then i'll add little amount of water carefully you can see i was adding it from the side that way you will not mistakenly add water into the moi moi wraps so at a point i went to check on the moi moi muffins <laughs> and they were ready once you stick a toothpick in it and it comes out clean then you know it is ready and then after a few more minutes back to the moi moi and at this point it was ready i cooked for roughly one hour 
yes i'm going to open up one now for you to see it came out beautiful and perfect you could see there was no water anywhere the water did not get in so you have to be really careful if you're not cooking with a the steamer yeah so this is what it looks like close up this moi moi was so delicious guys the moi moi leaf added its distinct flavor everything was just on point it was not hard it was soft and even the next day it tasted even more delicious please try out this recipe and let me know if you do send me pictures on instagram at the joyful cook subscribe and share this video to one or two of your friends somebody might just find it helpful and i'll see you in my next video god bless you guys bye